So, when it comes to the UK, we seem to have a bit of a problem with shoplifting. Because you must admit, over the last few years, we've seen security tags placed on some pretty strange items. But what I've got for you today, honestly, it's got to be one of the strangest things I've ever seen. Because what you're looking at right here, you know where they've got the security tags on bottles of alcohol? In places like Tesco and Morrison's and Asda. Well, they've actually taken it quite a bit further. Because instead of just bit like back in the old days, instead of just going up and just taking the bottle and then paying for it, you can see here where they've basically, th so this is a like a security box. It will have some sort of a tag on it. But they've got the photo of the bottle itself, still with the ski. <laughs> it's, <still, laughs> it's still got the security tag on the photo. Oh, that's brutal. But they've got the photo of it and then they've laminated it as well. And they've just stuck it to that security box. Same with this one here, actually. It's still got the security tag on the photo. And then you got this one here, actually. Come to think about it. Because I think they're the same bottle. Like, that's 75 centiliters. And that's 37 and a half. So it's a different price to bottle. But that photo, like, the reflections are the same. So I've, I've got some more security tag photos to show you in a second. I don't want to go down the route of, is Tesco or Morrison's just, uh, just doing a little bit of false advertising there. But that photo of the bottle, like I said, that's, that's half the size quite literally on paper, but just the way the reflection's there, and then you got like, the way the foil there, like it's the same, like they're selling you a different product, but they've just used the same photo, so that's not the product that you're buying, I don't know, that seems a bit shady, but then we got this one here from the co-op, and you can see there, it says this product is a dummy, it says it's not for sale, and you've got to ask a member of the staff for help, it's the same thing here with this £5.50 jar of coffee, you just got to take this empty one up to the till, but it really does show that, like, there's just no limit to basically what we're going to see in shops. Like, they're thinking of all sorts of weird strategies and devices. And just because of a couple of nutters in society, you now have to pay the price for stuff like this. And the article actually goes on to give us some statistics, like when it comes to the police. Because it says that the epidemic of shoplifting comes at a time where the forces are so... Well, they're saying that they're so thinly spread. I mean, that's probably just because they're out there. Just trying to arrest people for tweets. So they're not thinly spread when it comes to that. But when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to stopping crime, yeah, they're definitely thinly spread. But it says according to the co-op study, they, as in the police, are ignoring 80% of shoplifting cases. Like that really is mad for the police to just turn their back on 80% of cases. It really does make I mean they they, they say that they're thinly spread. But we're spending more money than ever before on the police. So when it comes to things like this, I really don't blame the shops. I mean, maybe like 10%. It's like, like, that's seller tape. <laughs> They've taped it to the box. And like I said, that will have a security tag on it. Because this is what they put like the protein bars and things like that in. Will be these little units here. And when you take it out of the shop, that's when it starts beeping at you. So like, even if you wanted to take the photo, they still wouldn't let you do it. But let me know what you think. Do you think that it's a shame that shops have to go to these lengths? And like myself, I couldn't imagine just walking into Tesco and just taking a 48 quid bottle off the shelf. So maybe it's us. Maybe we're, maybe we're just too nice. Maybe me and you. Maybe we're just playing by the rules too much. So I don't know. I'll leave that one up to you. And if you enjoyed this video, Make sure you check out this one, because the BBC, as well as a journalist, have done something which I, I, I genuinely think it is one of the worst articles that I've ever seen. And as all, maybe I need to shorten these outros, they're a little bit too long. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much for becoming one of the 51,145 subscribers. This country has gone crazy.